Following Kenya Kwanza's move to name their representatives on Wednesday, the Azimio side has summoned their Kenya Kwanza counterparts to an initial joint meeting set for Monday next week. Through a statement sent to newsrooms, Azimio delegation leader Kalonzo Musioke says, and I quote, in light of the urgency of the issues, the anxiety of our people and in the interest of speedy resolution to the issues affecting our nation, we today extend an invitation to the Kenya Kwanza National Dialogue Team, the leader of majority party in the National Assembly and the designated leader of the Kenya Kwanza Delegation Team for the initial joint meeting of both parties at the Serena Hotel Nairobi on Monday, August 7, 2023 at 11 a.m. The statement further reads that we have taken the steps because we believe time is of essence. We believe that a speedy start and time-bound program is necessary to put the nation at ease. Consequently, we believe this process should come to an end at the close of August. Azmio has however added a fifth item for consideration of the committee. Outstanding constitutional matters will formulate part of the discussion in terms of governance issues, adequate check and balance, as well as the question of boundaries delimitation. The talks might not be rosy, as analysts argue that for the talks to succeed, the two must admit there is a crisis. I can tell you, free of charge, there is not going to be dialogue or mediation so long as every side insists on having their agenda as it is. Azimio is facing an uphill task of convincing Kenya Kwanza on its key issues that questions the legitimacy of the government and its ability to serve Kenyans. If you bring in the issue of auditing the election, you are, uh, Kenya Kwanza will feel you are making them illegitimate. You are questioning the process through which they are in power and therefore they shouldn't be even on that particular table. If you bring in the issue of the cost of living, they will feel that you uh, definitely are trying to portray them as incompetent. Most of them are soft spoken to say so and ukiangalia mtu kama Kalonzo ni watu wako soft spoken. Na pia mazungumzo kama haya hayataki headliners. Inataka watu ambao wanaweza sikiza, watu ambao wanazungumza kwa upole ili waweze kuelewana. Kenya Kwanza on the other side faces the challenges of convincing Azimio that they need to have to entrench the position of the Prime Cabinet Secretary into law as well as creation of the Office of the Opposition. Azimio says they respect issues brought forward by Kenya Kwanza and insists the other side of Kenya Kwanza should respect their views. The real issue is if we really have got issues, if we have got a crisis, if we really need to have dialogue in the first place, and if we are going to have a dialogue, in what format will it be? Azimio, during their Tuesday parliamentary group meeting, sources say discussed possible demos should the talks fail to yield any fruits. Already, a rally is slated in Migori County this Saturday where the coalition leaders are expected to weigh in on a number of issues. Tafadhali mimi naomba. Tukiwapatia pesa ya county, Musiende kuchukua na kupanga maandamano ya vita. Please. That is not right. That is not why counties were made. So you come at the one, my friends. Munataka ati chukue ushuru ya Kenya, taxpayers money, tuende tununue mawe. Ya kupiganisha wa Kenya. Apana, apana. Kina ichungwa na wengine, hiyo sifa, ambao munayo kutaja jina ya Raila kila saa. Raila, Raila ni mtu ambao anasifa pembe zote za dunia. Atutarudi tena inchi ambayo ukiangalia serikali uwezi jua serikali ni gani opposition ni gani. Formulating part of the crisis facing the team is jitters within the camps. Kenya Kwanza leaders are upbeat about the possibility of a handshake while Azimio's side are fighting over inclusion in the team. On Thursday, a disgruntled Martha Karua team under the Kamwene banner held a separate meeting which they termed as a consultative meeting. Martin Opio, K24 TV, Nairobi.